Good morning and welcome to the J70 Danish Championship. It's day number two. Yesterday they did five great races. Today the race committee aims also to do five, um, five races again. The wind conditions are very good, a little bit lighter than yesterday. The wind bearing 220, 240 degrees coming from the west. So it's going to be exciting what's going to happen on the water. We expect a wind pressure coming from around 16 kts to 20 kts. So way lighter than yesterday, but still a lot of things can happen on the water. Saturday's racing was a hard task for all the crew members. Special going downwind with wind speed of 24 to 26 kts. So one of the things is how to depower or how to maneuver with the spinnaker and how to work with the jib. Let's hear more about that, especially the jib is very important for sailing the J70. Hi and welcome aboard our beautiful J70. We're just in the middle of setting everything up for the races uh, and I would like to give you a tour. The J70 class is uh, equipped with a main sail and a furling jib. Coming around the top mark uh, and getting ready for going downwind, it's important that we uh, work correctly with the jib. Um, going downwind, we have to get the spinnaker up, but before uh, putting the spinnaker up, we have to make sure that the jib is uh, placed correctly. We ease a little bit on, on, the, um, on the, the sheet, um, getting ready to go in downwind. Then we put up the, the spinnaker and then quickly afterwards we furl the jib. And the jib works as following. Using the main sheet, we roll out the jib, and using the furl line, we can easily furl it in once again. The big discussion at the morning table today was all the starts in the pennant. Very aggressive starts. So let's see a small sum up from the pennant start yesterday. Enjoy these small action videos we have from the starting line. Yesterday, it was some great races. Right now, we are standing on the harbor. All the boats, all the skippers are getting ready to go in for the racing of today. But it's very interesting what's going to happen. But before that, let's hear from some of the sailors what they expect will happen on the water. Hello, uh, I'm uh, Rasmus Lundby Mikkelsen from Sønderborg Yacht Club. And uh, currently, we are number five uh, at the J70 uh, Nationals. And uh, today, we are uh, expecting really good sailing conditions again. Today will be more light winds and more shifty, so uh, more teams will be able to, uh, to win races, so anything can happen today. Yesterday the pennant was a bit favored in the races, and uh, I think it will probably be the same uh, today, because it was the race committee did it on purpose, so probably we will be uh, at the favored end pennant again. Uh, Sarah Jackson from Hello Rep Sailing Club. Yeah, yesterday it was pretty windy. Uh, we made some interesting races. Uh, we definitely had some uh, more waves in the afternoon, which made things more interesting. Um, and today we're expecting slightly less wind, uh, which I think is good for a lot of tired bodies. Um, and yeah, hoping for a really good day of racing, some really tight racing with the whole fleet. And yeah, really looking forward to getting out there. 
Yeah, definitely. There was more of a fight for the pin end yesterday during the starts. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if that's the case today. Um, yeah, we'll have to see what the, the wind direction and the course layout is and if it's more more of the same, more of a fight at the pin end or whether it's going to be more on the, the starboard end uh, fight today. Then let's prepare to go in and see how today's races went. Race 6. The first race of the day in the Danish Championship in the J70 class. The wind has lightened up and changed the condition for the fleet. And the day started with a perfect start with one boat getting an UFD which ended up with maximum point. Upwind the fleet started to spread out and testing the new conditions. Denmark 1444 had a great start in race 6. Going upwind most of the fleet headed to the right hand side of the race course. Few boats tried to find momentum in the left side. At race 6, the fleet was racing like pearls on a string and there were no bigger fights at the gate mark rounding. This was also the story of the upwind, where the fleet yet again spread it out. Second downwind leg, the leader decided to jibe to the left hand side opposite rest of the fleet uh, that went to the right hand side. A close battle for the victory was decided on who worked the best with the spinnaker. Denmark 1444 decided to take down the Spinnaker and ending up losing the lead. It was a victory to Denmark 13.42. Race 7. Now the championship has started and the fleet was making more aggressive starts. Race 7 had 3 start attempts with 2 general recalls and 5 black flags in total. After the aggressive start for position at the starts, the fleet was more calm and avoiding ba battle in the rest of the race. The fleet was more calm and tried to avoid battles in the rest of the race. Downwind again, it looked like that the few boats going to the left hand side was winning momentum. At the gate mark the fleet made a split but kept themselves towards the middle of the race course. The real battle was unfolding downwind towards the finish. Here there was three boats fighting for position. The leader Denmark 14-10 jibed early into the mark and won with few meters in front of Denmark 914 and Finland 16. Race 8. Race number 6 and 7 has showed that the wind was not really favoring any side of the race course. That was also the result of the start of race 8 where the fleet made a split from the start. Denmark 1410 is the first at the top mark, where rest of the fleet following quite some distance after. Downwind the wind started to shift from bearing 210 to 995, which meant that the fleet could almost have a straight line towards the gate mark from the offset mark. Yet again, there were a close racing in the top three, where Denmark 1410 ended up winning in front of Germany 1377 and Denmark 786. Race 9. Again an aggressive start by the fleet, which made an almost perfect rolling start. Large part of the fleet was fighting for position in the committee end. Upwind most of the fleet kept to the left hand side. Germany 1377 was first at the top mark, closely followed by Denmark 940. Downwind they chosen to split up. At the second upwind leg, Denmark 941 started taking the lead and kept it towards the finish line in front of Germany 1377. Race 10, a clear start where the fleet chosen to spread out over the whole starting line. Most of the fleet headed towards the left hand side. Denmark 914 was first at the top mark, coming from starboard side, closely followed by Denmark 1342 coming from port tack. Downwind the wind started shifting 10 to 20 degrees, which made it possible for the fleet to go straight downwind towards the gate mark from the offset mark. Most of the fleet chosen to round to the right hand side of the gate and keep their course upwind. 
up when they kept themselves in the middle of the race course. The top three was not a close battle and Denmark 914 won the race. But the battle for the secondary positions was very close. The 2023 J70 Danish Championship was the winner found after 10 races over two days. Congratulations to Denmark 1410 with the championship. Winning with 26 points after 10 races. In total, three victories. In second place, it was Sweden, 786, coming in with 33 points. Third place, Denmark, 914, with 36 points. We hope you all had a great experience about following this J70 class Danish championship in Sønderborg, Denmark. My name is Thomas Bjørn Lutti and I want to say thank you for all of you watching it. Please remember to follow Sønderborg Yacht Club and the J70 class Denmark's social medias. There you can see a lot of action clips and pictures from the last days.